What are n Bernacci numbers? To start off with, we're going to look at the Fibonacci sequence. This is a very famous sequence named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci. Now it starts with two ones. And to get each term in the Fibonacci sequence, we add the previous two terms together. So we're starting with two ones. To get the third term, we're going to add them together. One add one gives us two. To get the next term, we add the one and the two together to give us three. We then add the two and the three together and so on. Three add five gives us eight. And there we go. And you can check each of those terms is the previous two terms added together. Now the three Bonacci sequence is made in a very similar way. This time we're going to start with a zero and two ones. Now to create this, instead of just adding two terms together, we're going to add three terms together. So we add the zero and the two ones together, gives us two. To get the next term, we add the two ones and the two together, giving us four. We then add the one, the two and the four together to give us seven, and so on. Each term created by adding the previous three terms together. Now this is also known as the Tribonacci sequence. We can do a very similar thing to create the four Bonacci sequence. So this time we'll start with two zeros and two ones, and we add four terms together to get the next. So we're going to add these four together to create the next term is two. Add the zero, the two ones and the two together to create a four. And so on, adding four terms together to give us the next one. Now this is also known as the Tetranarchy sequence. Now you can make n Bonacci sequences with any positive whole number that you like. So have a look at this table. We've already met the Fibonacci, Tribonacci and Tetranacci sequences. But if you add five terms together, you get a Pentanacci sequence. Six terms gives you a Hexanacci sequence and so on. Now there are two more n Bonacci sequences which we haven't met yet. They're quite trivial ones, but interesting nonetheless. There is one sequence known as the Medinacci sequence. Now to create this, we add zero terms together. So because we're not adding anything together, the Medinacci sequence is just zero, repeating itself over and over again. There's also the Enanacci sequence. So for this one, we start with a one, and we just add one term each time to get the next. So because we're starting with a one, Every other term is also a 1. That's the Enanacci sequence. 